What is up guys, Rick Hackus here, and we're going to go over today why auto rifles in Destiny are terrible. Not only can they not be used in PvP, but they're so bad it's impacting their performance in PvE as well. We're going to go over why this is, what can be done to fix it, and how to make sure this kind of thing never happens again. Now if you do agree with this video, please remember to share it. Hopefully we can get Bungie's attention and get this fixed sooner rather than later. Now I think that the fact that auto rifles as an entire gun group are terrible is a huge issue. If you think about it, that means one fourth of primary guns are unusable in both PvE and PvP play. That is terrible. That is such a huge amount of the content in the game that is locked off from being utilized by Guardians. During the recent Iron Banner event, I got to rank 5 and I spent my entire time, my entire run through the Iron Banner, I was not killed a single time by an assault rifle. And I am not joking. That is unbelievable and that really speaks to how bad auto rifles are right now. So how did this happen? How did we get to the point where an entire gun group is locked off from use? Well, it was because of Bungie's nerfs. Now at the beginning of Destiny, auto rifles were certainly not underpowered. They were everywhere in the Crucible, especially the exotic auto rifle, the Soros Regime. That gun was a phenomenal powerhouse in PvP and it decimated most games. When you would go into PvP and the Soros Regime would be literally the only thing you would see. It, the Soros Regime was the thorn of its time. It was absolutely everywhere. Now partially the reason for this was it was legitimately an extremely good gun. You could definitely make the argument that it was a little overpowered. But another factor that made its use so abundant was that it was sold the second week by Xur. The first week Exotic sold was the Red Death. Now that really didn't get purchased too much because players were still utilizing the game. Again, it was the first week the game came out and a lot of players, including myself actually, just didn't have exactly enough strange coins to purchase the Red Death. The second week it was totally different. The Soros regime was being sold and a lot of players, again including myself, had the resources to be able to buy it. Now also, a few weeks later, I think three or four weeks later, the Soros regime was sold by Xur yet again. So what ended up happening was a very powerful gun. It may not have even been necessarily overpowered, but an extremely powerful and potent gun was extremely easy to get two times. And so it absolutely took over the Crucible. You've got to remember again that this was at the very beginning of the game. Xur selling exotics was by far the most abundant and easy way that people got their exotic weapons. Not many people had even had an exotic bounty pop up for them, let alone chosen the thorn bounty, let alone completed the thorn bounty. And so what you had was an extremely easy to get, extremely powerful exotic gun that had absolutely taken over the Crucible. Not to mention a lot of the other high power assault rifles were insanely good as well. As such, Bungie nerfed auto rifles by about 15% across the board. This really brought Soros Regime and a lot of the other powerful auto rifles down to earth and definitely made them more competitive and made it so that players who didn't want to use auto rifles could do so a little bit better. Now here is where the first problem started to occur with the first nerf. Again, I went over the fact that was the Soros Regime overpowered or was it just a really good gun that was insanely easy to get? That's definitely a factor in considering whether or not the nerf was justified. But even if that nerf was justified, and again, you can make an extremely strong case that it was, the problem was that they nerfed assault rifles completely across the board. The extremely fast shooting auto rifles, like the Atheon's epilogue, got nerfed as well, yet those saw almost zero play in the Crucible. Nerfing the fast shooting auto rifles was completely unnecessary and made them so that they remained at the most underused guns in PvP. Another problem was that this nerf impacted PvE as well, even though auto rifles weren't really taking over PvE. Yes, they were common, but there was definitely better options. No one was running Soros Regime over Galahorn. 
At this point, after the first nerf, auto rifles again were brought down to earth. They were balanced with some of the other guns. Definitely pulse rifles were now the odd man out, but you had a decently balanced crucible at this point. Auto rifles were still being used, but they weren't incredibly overpowered. Now this is where the main problem then happens and this is how we got to this point. Bungie decided to nerf auto rifles yet again. The reason was not because they were overpowered. The reason Bungie themselves gave is that they wanted players to utilize some of the other gun types. During this same nerf of the auto rifles, Bungie also increased pulse rifle damage by 10% across the board. Now this is where things really, really started to fall apart, even just judging on what I just said. So they wanted people to utilize the other gun types like pulse rifles, which were definitely underpowered. And so they nerfed auto rifles, and at the same time, in the same patch, buffed pulse rifles. These two things in the same time don't make sense. If you want other people to utilize other guns like pulse rifles, you can buff pulse rifles, or nerf auto rifles. There is absolutely no need to do them both at the same time. Now the high damage assault rifles were nerfed most severely, but again, this nerf covered all assault rifles and <laughs> even nerfed the high fire rate guns like the Necrochasm and the Atheon's Apologue, which again saw basically zero crucible play and yet they were nerfed yet again, making them Absolutely, if they weren't already not used, they are now an absolute joke. And yet again, we have the issue of this patch affecting PvE weapons again. At this point in PvE, assault rifles were really not being utilized too much. There was no danger of assault rifles taking over PvE. In fact, they were probably the least used gun type right behind pulse rifles, which at that point were a joke. Now again, another huge problem with this patch was just the reasoning. Bungie saw that assault rifles were being utilized a lot in the Crucible, but really didn't pay attention to why that is. If assault rifles in any multiplayer game are balanced and are competitive, they will be the most used gun. That's simply because the nature of assault rifles, the fact that they are fully automatic and that you can drift off target and miss multiple shots and then drift back on target and still kill that enemy, means that they're very forgiving to use and they're very attractive to use for new players. Bungie needs to realize that it can't force us to play PvP the way we want to play. I've really never heard of a company making a gun type obsolete simply because they want people to use other gun types. That's really not fair to us, the players. If we want to use assault rifles, if we want to use auto rifles, we should be able to. This especially sucks now because, you know, people are still buying Destiny to this day. And how shitty would it be if your first exotic was like a Hard Light, or a Soros Regime, or a Monte Carlo, or heck, the Necrochasm, any of the exotic auto rifles. And you, awesome, this exotic looks so cool, wow, this ability looks cool, I'm gonna take it to the Crucible. And then you get absolutely shit on by, you know, legendary pulse rifles. That is not good that should not happen and you know people argue all the time about the thorn is exotic and so it should be so good blah 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 the thorn is exotic so is a monte carlo so is the hard light so is the service regime and all of those exotics are absolute crap you're giving up your one and only exotic slot to this gun to for example the hard light the hard light should bloody well be able to function in the crucible then not even the crucible the hard lights garbage in pve as well so in summary it was multiple unnecessary and poorly designed nerfs that made auto rifles complete crap so how do we fix this well the simple answer is to buff auto rifles but it's a little bit more complicated than that bungie Again, you have to buff auto rifles across the board, but there should be more of a buff for the fast shooting auto rifles like the Atheon's Epilogue, like the Necrochasm. These guns were never utilized in the Crucible. They were always underpowered. It's time we finally let them have their time to shine. They should be the closer range option for a primary. So maybe buff their close range damage potential and then make the drop off a little bit sharper. The high damage auto rifles need to be buffed as well. They shouldn't be dropping anyone in three headshots, but they should be able to compete with the other gun types in the game. 
All of the exotic auto rifles also need to be buffed individually. Bungie needs to give individual focus to each one of the exotic auto rifles. The mantra should be each one of these guns should be worthy of giving up your exotic slot too. And how can we make sure this kind of thing never happens again? That never again does a gun type completely fall out of usefulness not only in the Crucible but in PvE as well? Well firstly Bungie needs to realize that it can't force us to play how they want to play. This isn't 1984. If we want to use assault rifles, we should be able to use assault rifles. If assault rifles are balanced bungee, they are going to be the most used gun, again because of their ease of use and attractiveness to the new player base. That doesn't mean they're overpowered. A skilled player can outshoot any auto rifle with the hand cannon. But a skilled player should also be able to tear it up with an auto rifle. It's also extremely important to keep PvE out of PvP patches. If something is overpowered in the Crucible and therefore it's nerfed, it does not mean it's overpowered in PvE. PvE is a totally different ballgame. Bungie, you must separate these systems. The fact that you doubled shotgun damage in only PvE means that you have the power to offset any changes made for PvP reasons. So that's it for the video. Again, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please help get the word out so we can get auto rifles back to their competitive nature and we can finally get some variety back into the crucible. Again, if you guys did enjoy, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe if you do want to see Destiny content similar to this. And as always, have a good day.